Hello everyone, welcome to Dev Tamin. In this video, we are going to learn about conditional in React or we are going to learn about if statement in React. Especially, we are going to focus on ternary operator. Okay, let's get started. For example, over here, I'm going to create a variable const and show notification equal false. Okay. So I'm going to use this variable to show or to hide a notification. I'm going to create a ternary operator over here. Okay. And we put question mark. If this is true, we want to show notification. If this is notification. Okay. But if it's false, we put colon and then we show nothing. Save. Then we go to web browser. We will see there is no notification. But how about if we set this to be true? We will see the notification on desktop. This is notification. Uh, let me styles notification. For example, I put class name over here and then put notification. And I copy this one and go to app.css and then class notification I set background color to a uh, green okay green needs to be like this and then padding 20 pixel margin 20 pixel save if we go back here I see you will see notification over here okay you can hide the notification by setting this to false you will see that the notification won't render on the screen because show notification is set to false. All right, the next thing we want to do, I want to create a button to show a high notification or to toggle a notification. For example, I create button over here and I put toggle notification. And I call on click function over here. When people click on this function, I'm going to call function over here. Let's create function con toggle notification. Okay, arrow function. And then we call this toggle notification over here. So when we click on this button, we want to change or update the UI, right, to show a notification that means this variable needs to be state variable okay we have to update this to be state variable so we put bracket and then create another function over here set show notification show needs to be uppercase and this one needs to be use state variable okay and then we set the default value we can set this to be true or false depend on what you want we have state variable over here. Then we just call set show notification over here to update the show notification value. We update this show notification value to be an opposite value. So we put exclamation over here. All right, this is all. Okay, let's go back here. If I click on here, it's show notification. If I click on here, it's high notification. Alright, this is all about this tutorial. If you like this video, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and comment down below.